Charles, thank you very much for joining us. It's a pleasure having you and I look forward to learning some of the tactics that you've been uh, using to grow uh, your company and to also learn uh, more about your company. So can we start for the audience maybe to share uh, who you are, who you work with and what you're doing a little bit? I'm, I'm Charles, I'm the, the CEO of Chukam. Chukam is a six years old uh, company, B2B SaaS. We are based in Boston and uh, we help CPO or VP engineering to build the analytical part of the product. Can you give me a use case, uh, like uh, what kind of company do you sell to and uh, how do they ultimately use Tucan? So um, typically we work for companies that are five people to 100, 200 people, and we help them uh, taking the data they have and building visualization graphs and embed these stories, these data inside their platform. So, for example, you could be a, a, a CRM company and wanting to uh, bring data to your end users and you don't want to do it by yourself because it costs uh, a lot of time because the uh, engineering costs are very high here and uh, uh, thanks to our platform, the engineering costs uh, disappear as you work with a third-party vendor and your time to market uh, is uh, shorter, shorter. Can you tell me uh, what uh, makes your solution uh, special or different from what's out there? What's very special and unique is that we focus a lot on the UX and on the mobility. So we got guarantee the, the best uh, UX uh, on the market, on the analytical space. And can you tell me a little bit about how you sell such a, pro such a service? Uh, how do you approach your clients and how do you so they convert? What, what tactics do you use? What seems to work? Here so in, the, in the US, I'd say that uh, 80% of the uh, opportunities come from inbound. So uh, we do uh, some uh, SEO. Uh, we are quite good at SEO. And also we made some ads. And uh, when we do outbound, we reach uh, to the personas, uh, uh, VP engineering and, and the CPO or CTO also. And uh, we deliver a very simple message, which is, uh, are you aware that you can uh, uh, save uh, twice uh, to, you say you can you can cut your uh, engineering costs by two or three working with us because uh, you will have to hire uh, top tier engineers to build uh, the very important part of your product which is the analytical part and uh, when you do the inbound uh, what do you rely on specifically is it more uh, content and what type of content would that be? Uh, on inbound, we rely on um, very good blog posts, and we also uh, uh, organize webinars uh, uh, around data storytelling, around how you can leverage the data you own to uh, uh, drive more revenues or to drive more retention, more adoption. Uh, and this is where the, 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 the leads come from, from this type of content. For the webinar specifically, how do you drive traffic to the webinar? With ads. With paid advertising, uh, do you prefer Google or Facebook, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn? We use uh, Google, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube. Uh, every, uh, I would say LinkedIn today, we use it, but not so much as it's more expensive than other uh, 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 channels. Uh, but uh, that's uh, still a, a good way to get a uh, qualified lead. And on the outreach side, do you do it via email or LinkedIn or do you do something else? Uh, LinkedIn, email, phone. So uh, what we truly believe is that if you want to have a high uh, conversion, conversion rate, meaning a high connecting rate, uh, you have to reach people on different uh, mediums. So for example, I would say, this guy, I will send him an email, connect through LinkedIn, and then call him. Okay, so that, that's like your funnel. That's how you approach it. Yeah. Okay. And uh, can you give me a sense how fast Tucan has been uh, growing? Is there anything you can share on that? First revenue of license was uh, four, three years ago, four years ago, 2016. March 2016 was the first year of recurring revenue. And uh, today we are uh, a nearly six million recurring revenue company. Six million recurring revenue. Yeah. And uh, how many companies does that equate to? How many clients? We have uh, uh, more than 100 clients uh, today in, in Europe and in the US. If you had to rank the best way that you win clients today, uh, what would you say that is? It's uh, through inbound. The, the, the more qualified leads come from inbound, from good content, from events, 
uh, we organize also. Uh, for example, here in Boston, next week we have an event around data storytelling, how you can uh, make the make good usage of your data and, and tell the good stories to non-technical users. As you're looking at 2020 for your growth plans, are there any challenges or uh, what are you focused on in order to drive growth for the next phase? Yeah, we have uh, different ways to drive growth. First, we have uh, um, through uh, existing customer base. So we have set a uh, uh, 30% net retention rate uh, for this year. So we have a very good, uh, we have a very strong action plan to get to this 30%. 30% net retention is uh, clearly a best in class uh, number. So that, but that's the one we want to reach. But uh, that's the, the, the first uh, way. Uh, second way is through partners. Uh, we want to build a specific offers with partners, uh, from party partners like GSI, like uh, Accenture, Capgemini, uh, Deloitte, Ernst Young, and this kind of company that can, that we can leverage uh, to acquire new clients. And a third uh, third uh, uh, options is to develop a new set of products uh, relying on the the, the same uh, two can platform. Uh, but to provide what we call business in a box, which uh, which are a series of ready to use applications, analytical applications, and specific that uh, 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 leverage the data from a precise uh, uh, underneath uh, uh, data system. Like for example, if you have like a POS like Square, we will provide uh, an analytical dashboard for all Square uh, business. Could you give me an example? I thought it was very interesting the partnership approach with offers. Can you give me an example there? We work with uh, uh, Capgemini on uh, uh, Factory 4.0, and uh, they have a, a complete, uh, uh, I would say, offer for their existing clients. And uh, what they what they do is that they, they package a set of solutions and consulting, and uh, they they acquire clients. And uh, when they sell a big package to their clients. And they resell uh, to can uh, and uh, oh, so to can plugs into one of their packages as, as an enhancement yeah. or yes exactly and how do you get that partnership going do you reach out to uh, you say you know i have this software product it can add plug this hole in your package uh, like how do you start the conversation to get a deal like that uh, that's a very long process <laughs> i would say because uh, you have to see many stakeholders uh, but you, you start uh, with a client partner usually. You start with the client partner and after you, you have to also to jump to the uh, um, solution partner the, 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 or the solution uh, business unit that build the offers. So usually you have the client facing your business units and you have the uh, strategic business lines that uh, build the offers and you have to uh, work and talk to both sides you have to align people. What are the best ways for people to follow you, to kind of what you're doing, what you're posting, how to connect with you? We are very active on YouTube, Instagram, <laughs> uh, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn. So uh, uh, on any uh, social channel, you can find uh, our activity and follow uh, our news, latest news. But I would say LinkedIn is one of the best ways for, for people to, to, follow, to follow us. Thank you very much for sharing. I appreciate it.